Hey everybody, it's uh, Brian here from QuantLabs.net. I uh, just wanted to talk about a few things. As we all know, last week uh, I'm watching my Bloomberg and I'm watching in disbelief. NASDAQ has suspended all options and then it turned into all equities and it was down for three hours. What kind of morons do that? <laughs> Pretty extreme, I know. But the point is, is that when you look at the pattern of night trading, the Facebook IPO debacle, and now this, and among other things, some Goldman Sachs, uh, I didn't even pay attention to that one last week as well. It now proves that software engineering and software architecture is really, really, really critical because it can take down the whole system. And, um, you know, I've been following a lot and, and being helped by the London Quan, who's been, he's easily one of the best technical geniuses and overall geniuses that I've ever come across in the last two bit, uh, two plus years in doing this stuff. Um, and uh, he builds a lot of his stuff from scratch, which is absolutely the most pure way of building anything uh, for, let's say, specifically for trading platforms. Obviously, it's the smartest way to go. The unfortunate part for me, um, I, time is not a luxury for me, so I'm always looking for the quick and dirty way of doing things. Um, we, we got in a discussion about this, and I totally wholeheartedly agree um, with building things from scratch and learning from them and, and redoing them and doing them and retweaking and retweaking and optimizing and optimizing until they get to a point where it's really um, uh, performing at its peak. Um, the other, other end of it, and it's ge in general with any IT related business or consulting gig or whatever, that's one of the reasons why I don't no longer work in the uh, employment world uh, because of this, is because of the high pressure and competitive reasons that a lot of the managers, whoever, are putting on IT personnel to get stuff out the door as fast as possible. That's why things like NASDAQ and all this other stuff break um, because due to the fact of these pressures. In my case, um, I'm kind of putting myself under pressure because I don't want my membership to wait, waiting and waiting and waiting for years before I have this absolute perfect uh, platform. Because in a realistic world, in two years from now or three years from now, that platform may be obsolete. It could be even obsolete in three months. And I've, I've played witness to that many times before. So my view, I, I've been doing um, development, and software, engineering, whatever, since, uh, <laughs> I hate to say, over 30 years now. Probably longer than most of uh, my followers are, have been alive. Um, and the thing is, is that uh, that is very critical. I'm very old school, very old fashioned doing it the right way because back then things didn't break as much as they do now. And with the proliferation of the internet and all these different God gizmo languages out there, um, things are just getting more and more fragmented. So in my platform, what I've been doing is, I've been, as I said, I've been doing the quick and dirty uh, way of doing things, meaning you find a piece of code, you kind of hack at it, you understand the basics of it, and then you piece it together and glue it to something else with the same principle, like hacking at it, using the quick and dirty methodology to get it up and running. Um, for me, uh, it's the fastest way I've been able to do it, and I've come a lot farther in the last couple of weeks than I would have in the last couple of months, or probably even the last few years to get it to where it's at now. But I'm using um, the underbelly of a communication system, which is really important that everything can talk to each other and it can do it uh, resiliently in a way where it's not dropping messages and that sort of thing. And I'm always constantly trying to re-architect to make it better at that level. Is it the smartest way of doing it? Absolutely not. But it enables me to go and focus what I need to focus on, which is trading strategies. That is the critical point. That is what makes you money. If you don't have a profitable trading strategy, your platform is useless. So, Right now, my priority is obviously the trading platform, but it's just a basic infrastructure to play with so that when I start building and implementing new trading strategies and algorithms into this so-called platform, um, I will be able to um, be able to implement it and test it out and then see how it works against a simulated environment, like notably uh, interactive brokers, but still yet be able to import uh, real-time um, market data, uh, which has been doing what I've been doing for the last uh, couple of weeks now. So that's what I've been doing and that's what I've been focusing on. And again and again and again, I'm going to stress it. That is not the smartest way to implement a system, any system, especially a uh, trading platform. So for now, that's what I'm doing. Uh, and then I'm going to be entering in a phase of doing all these strategies and just testing them out, testing all the results, a combination of different types of market assets as well as uh, the frequencies of which you can uh, trade at, 
blah, 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 blah. It's a big, huge job. But right now I'm just going to use this basic uh, training platform using all these basic mechanical uh, little components that talk to each other, have the ability to. That's what I'm doing. Um, not the smartest way, but again, it kind of works for now. Um, <coughs> and then we'll go from there uh, to try to make something better. Um, and who knows, I, I already have something in the back of my mind um, what I'm planning to do. If you've been following me long enough, you know what I'm talking about. It uh, begins with four letters. Um, and Simulink is great for that. So that is my ultimate uh, goal. Um, and uh, it's a complicated process, but I'm just going to go through the uh, uh, exercise right now to develop uh, and get a, a, a list of profitable uh, trading, platform, uh, trading strategies in place. Then I can start reworking or maybe just blowing up this platform and then going from there for something even better. That's what I'm planning to do, uh, and it may take me quite a while to do it, a couple of months, a couple of who knows how long, but that is the plan. Um, and to me, that's the smart way of doing it. I don't have anyone to report to except myself to do it and to get it out there. Hopefully, uh, you may agree, you may not agree, but it doesn't bother me because I'm still doing it with or without you. So I'll talk to you later. later.